We'll get you out right away. Setting off the smoke machine was a very dangerous thing to do. And all of this could have been avoided if you just danced with Lily. I'm sorry. I'll go and dance with Lily now. Norman dance? Yes, of course. Hey, Elvis. Time for our big lift. Out like I planned. The Billy Star. That's my cake. Bingo. Looks like we found him. Get ready to go in, Helen. Roger that, Tom. Sorry, James. Everything is going to be all right. Are you hurt? Um, no. I don't think so. Hang on tightly, James. We're going to get you out of here. I've got him, Penny. Take us up. Roger that, Helen. Hold us steady, Tom. He's not injured, Sam, but be careful driving him back. He's had quite enough excitement for one day. Roger that, Helen. And don't worry, I'll remember the fizzy pop. Well done, pioneers. And a nice effort at bandaging. I did that! It was very good that you learnt lots of things from your book, James. But you forgot what it said on the first page. Happy birthday, James! Love from your sister, Sarah! Uh, no, not, not that. Maybe the next page? Uh, contents? No, James, not that one either. Oh, here it is. Always keep calm. Yep, yeah, yes, that's it, James. Always keep calm. Do you want me to drive you back to Pontypandy in the ambulance, Trevor? Maybe it might be best if I drive, Elvis. <laughs> and I'll give you a few lessons on the way. Oh, OK, Helen. <gasps> But can I drink the fizzy pop this time? <laughs> Sarah, if you can hear me, pick up the handset. Sarah, do you read me? I can hear you, Uncle Sam. Uh, loud and clear. Help is on the way, but the tide is coming in and you need to make yourself safe until we get there. Listen carefully. I'm going to tell you what you need to do. Uh, uh, roger that, Uncle Sam. OK, Sarah. Once you have taken off your seatbelt, roll down the window and get out of the car. Remember, seatbelt, window, out. I've got it, Uncle Sam. Seatbelt, window, out. Seatbelt, window, out. That's it, Sarah. Don't worry, Sarah. I've got you. I'm glad everyone is safe and sound, Sam, but our drills didn't exactly go as planned. And I didn't get any good footage for my ocean rescue epic. I think you might actually have the best ocean rescue epic ever, sir. 
Everyone's body cams were still on when we rescued Sarah. I know you didn't do it on purpose, Sarah, but you need to be really careful when you're inside a car and never touch any of the controls. Sorry, Penny. I don't suppose we'll ever get to see the new Flex Dexter movie now? I wouldn't worry about that, James. I know an even better movie you can see instead. Welcome to the premiere of our new promotional video. Introducing our new action hero and star of the silver screen, Elvis Cridlington. <laughs> I'm the king of the world! <laughs> oh no, uh, not this version! <laughs> We're on it! Come on, guys. Stay low and let's get you out. Let's get this fire under control. You two blast the main blaze before it spreads. I'll tackle the smaller fires. Sam, what's your situation? Everything's under control here, Penny. I'm so sorry. I rushed the assembly of my pyrotechnic launcher module 2000 and I didn't have time for the final safety check. No, it's my fault for being so impatient, Dad. I should have given you more time. It would have been worth the wait. Well, however good it was, the safest way to enjoy fireworks is at an organised public display. But we've missed that now. Oh, no, you haven't. If you hurry, you may just catch the start. <gasps> can we go, Dad? Of course we can. Great. I will get to see two displays after all. And hopefully, these fireworks will be where they belong. <laughs> Up in the sky. <gasps> Whoa. Whoa. They're nearly as good as yours. We need you all to move back for your own safety. Thank you. Okay, team. Looks like we've got a burning wood oven, a gas canister, and an electric microwave. I'll disconnect the microwave. And I'll keep that gas canister cool. to sticky foam. Roger that, Ellie. The fire's spreading. I'm on it, Sam. It looks like the source of the blaze was this wood-fired oven. Um, sorry, Sam. That was our oven. I may have been in a bit too much of a hurry. <laughs> uh. That was James's fault. He kept rushing Dad. No, I didn't. You did. Well, whoever it was, you need to remember that you have to be very careful when cooking outside, especially when you're using a real fire. Sorry, sorry. Ellie. I see. Crittling did. Quit Lincoln. Have you found any leftover pizza? Not a single slicer. Oh, that's very disappointing. No more pizza today. But who fancies fish and chips? Excellent! <laughs> Ooh, jackpot. Snack for the journey, Elvis. Uh, I think I'll wait for my fish and chips, sir. Sarah and Nipper. I'll tackle the fire. 
I can't see Sarah and Nipper. I'm going to check the basement. Roger that, Sam. Sarah! Sarah! I'm here, Uncle Sam! Oh, Sarah, we need to leave. And I can't find Nipper! Don't worry, Sarah, we'll find him. But right now, I have to get you out of here. The fire's out, Sam! I couldn't find Nipper anywhere. What is it, girl? Go, show me. Why is Shadow sniffing Nipper's toy? She's trying to find him for you. She's concerned about the smoke. Lead, Radar! <laughs> That's it! Follow! What a team! <laughs> Sarah, you have to keep a very close eye on dogs and make sure that you always know where they are. Lizzie's checked the dogs over and they're all fine. Oh, Nipper, I'm so glad you're safe. All thanks to Radar and Shadow. <laughs> <gasps> you see, James? I told you I would teach Nipper at least one trick. High five! <laughs> <laughs> I have visual. Transmitting coordinates now. I'm going down. Grab hold of this! Ben, get Titan to Bonty Pandy Island fast, or we'll have a massive fire on our hands. On my way! But I've got no one to operate the water cannons. Leave it to me. I've got just the firefighter for the job. Was close. I'm really sorry, Penny. I pushed the Joe Jet's controls right up to the max. This is all my fault. Well, Hannah, I think it's best if you don't tinker with grown-ups' inventions, especially if it's one of your dad's. Aye. So, it looks like your police helicopter will be a perfect fit with the rest of the team. It certainly feels like that, Sam. What? Get off, you floppy bounder! Uh, are you all right, sir? Yeah, but one second. Get, get, get. Uh. I'm fine. I'm fine. <laughs> Hang on, Sam. We are coming to help. Kilo, whoa! Come on, Kilo. Let's try this way. Sam, take this! Get ready, Mandy. I'm coming across. Ready, Sergeant Ravani! Kilo, this way. Ah, thanks, Sergeant Ravani. And thank you, Kilo. I'm sorry. I was trying to find the Ponty Pandy Pansy. I know I shouldn't have wandered off. I told them we should head back, Uncle Sam. I'm sure you did, James. And Mandy, you should never climb a hill like that without the correct equipment and supervision. 
I'm sorry, it's my fault, Fireman Sam. I should have been paying attention. I got distracted taking my photo for the Wall of Fame. Oh, I knew you wouldn't finish that list, Mandy. I did actually, Norman. I saw the Ponty Pandy Pansy when Sam and Kilo were rescuing me. Well then, we'd better take your photo for the wall. Yes! But I never would have got that photo without you and Kilo, Fireman Sam. Maybe you could be in it too. Oh, I always knew we'd become the best of friends. <laughs> 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 No sign of them yet, Penny. Nothing from up here. It's such a big area. Hey! I'm here! Over here! Over here! Hang on. I see something. What is it, Sergeant Trevani? I found him. It's James. But I can't land to rescue him. It's nesting season, and I don't want to upset the birds. Sam, can you go? Neptune won't be able to get in there. Roger that, Penny. Juno is made for this. Uncle Sam! I'm over here! James! Careful, Uncle Sam. There's a very grumpy bird here. Don't worry, James. We'll get you out of here in no time. Then she can have the island all to herself. Hold on, James. I'm sorry I went out on the water by myself, Uncle Sam. You need to be extra careful when you are on or near the water, James. And you should always have an adult with you. Well, that's enough paddle boarding for me. You can have as many goes as you like now, Sarah. Thanks, James. Wait. Is that the paddle board? Um... James! Hey, James! Guess what? We had a tour of the Ocean Rescue Centre! And we saw the whole team in action! That's brilliant! But I got a ride on Juno! What? But that's not fair! You can't do that at the Newtown Pirate Museum! I'm on my way! Here comes Bessie! Everyone take cover! Ellie, Penny, you take the pump cans! Roger that, Sam. Roger that, Sam! I'm afraid it was our seaweed candles that started the fire. I know, Bronwyn. Norman told everyone. Uh... And a forest is not really a place for candles. I promise that if we do another whale song forest retreat, we'll use battery ones instead. Oh, I'm not sure I want to do another whale song forest retreat. <laughs> that was possibly one of the most unrelaxing experiences I've ever had. Well, Agent Price. It looks like we solved the mystery of the beast of Ponty Panty Mountain. We did it, Agent Sparks, and it turned out to be a whale.
Phyllis, Trevor, what's it like in there? Oh, it's getting very snug and warm in here. Why don't you take your scarf off, Trevor? <laughs> no. Help! Norman! Sarah and James are trapped on the lake and the ice is melting! I'll call Fireman Sam. And now it's time for the most totally brilliant piece of winter rescue equipment ever! <gasps> Sarah and James are stuck on the frozen lake and the ice is melting. Sarah and James are stuck on the frozen lake. Don't worry, you two. Fireman Sam is on his way. Elvis, go back. I'm so cold. Don't let go, James. This penny, it's an inflatable rescue path! Woo! Whoa! Whoa! Tie it to the end of the jetty penny, then hold it steady. Sarah! James! It's okay! We're coming to get you! Done! It's going to sink! Don't panic! I'm here. I've got you. Three smoke signals. That means an emergency. The pioneers must be in trouble on the island. I'd better call Fireman Sam. <laughs> No Sam in here. Now I can write my speech. There's an SOS coming from Ponty Pandy Island. Penny, take Neptune to the island and make sure the pioneers are safe. Right you are, Sam. for making the smoke signals. You're the best explorer here. We might even have time for sausages while help is on its way. But I'm the best explorer and I'm going to prove it. I'm going to send the biggest smoke signals ever. No, Norman, stop. <gasps> ah, <whoa! gasps> Trevor, what do we do now? Uh, my book says that uh, in the event of an island fire, to uh, move away to the shore. Oh, yes. Well done, James. Now, life vests on everyone. <laughs> I'm going to need some help. That's right, Sam. You check on the tea. Nothing going on in here. It's from Penny. There's a forest fire on Ponty Pandy Island. Elvis, we're going to need Titan. What about the fire? Oh, over there! Look, it's Fireman Sam! Penny, 
Take Neptune and collect the skiff. Let's move in. Ready, Elvis? Ready, Sam. Men, we need to move along the island and fast. It's very dark. It's got to be dark for the really scary sleepover story. Cool. This is going to be the best sleepover ever. So, what's the scary sleepover story, Norman? It's called... Bo -bo -bo -bo, the Fog of Doom. Oh, once upon a time, there was a really scary person who lived in a really scary house. Am I a potato? No, no, let me think, let me think. N no, uh, wait, I've got it. Ah, uh, yes. Uh, no, it can't be that. Uh... He's been guessing for an hour now, Sam. Mm-hmm. Would you like a clue, sir? Oh, yes, cooking idea. You are something you wear, sir. I've got it, I've got it. Yes? yes? No, no, it's gone again. person pulled a really scary face. Will the Fog of Doom actually come into the story at any point, Norman? Oh, this is so boring. It's the scariest story ever. Oh no, look, it's the Fog of Doom. Don't be silly, James. That's not fog, that's smoke. Oh, and it's coming from I know what I am! It'll have to wait, I'm afraid, sir. There's a fire at the Flood's house. There's a fire at the Flood's house! What are you all doing out of bed? <laughs> it's in the kitchen, Sam! Penny, you shut off the electricity. OK, Sam. I'll make sure everyone's all right. Air, 100%. everyone fire oh this is a dramatic twist i didn't see that coming no no this is not part of the show it listen to me everybody we need to evacuate the area <laughs> the mountain activity center is on fire and my show is in ruins the Mountain Activity Center is on fire and Station Officer Steele's show is in ruins. Stand clear, everyone. Move away from the fire. Over here, Grindlington! Uh, uh, it won't reach, sir! The hose is too short! Right, there's only one thing for it. We'll have to do it like the old days. Everyone, find a bucket. We need to make a line from the lake. OK, team. 
We need to make sure the area is clear. Roger What's that, that Sam? Sam. Tom, we've got a fire at the Mountain Activity Center. We need Wallaby 2. Roger that, Sam. You can. <laughs> okay, Fireman Sam. All clear, Sam. All clear, Sam. We're all clear, Tom. Roger that, Sam. Ready, team? Now, let's pass the bucket, just like we did in the show. Pass, pass, pass. Pass the bucket to the next man. Pass, pass, pass. Pass it to the right. My father would be proud. Fires out, everyone. shovel and try to get on telly again. Penny. We need to hurry, Sam. It's filling up fast. What about Phoenix? Phoenix would be strong enough, but we'll never get her up here in time. Hmm. There is one other thing that might be strong enough to lift up that submarine. Master 2000. I think it might be at the bottom of the lake, Joe. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. See them anywhere. Lily! Sarah! Where could they be? I better call Fireman Sam. Sarah and Lily are lost on Ponty Pandy Mountain. Sarah and Lily are lost on Ponty Pandy Mountain. I'll head to the mountains. You call Tom Thomas, sir. Right you are, Sam. Thank you. 
They're not just lost, Sam. They're in a tricky spot. I'll use the winch. Can you get me any closer, Tom? I can't, Sam. We're too near the rock face. We need to find a safe place where I can reach you. What are you doing, little sheep? He's showing you the way to safety. If you get up there, we'll be able to reach you. Come on, Lily. Thank you, sheep. Got you, Lily. I'll be back for you in a second, Sarah. Your turn, Sarah. I'll drop you back on the mountain top, Sam. No need, Tom. I'll make my own way up. Yeah. <laughs> oh, oh, oh no. Oh, ants. Oh, they're crawling up my leg. Ah! Oh, I've got ants in my pants. Can he be? We've looked everywhere. Look! Ah! Found you! Ow! Ants in my pants! There we are. The sausages are ready. Ooh, uh. What's that? Out of here! That log sounds like my Norman. Look out, Dillis! Oh, oh Trevor. You saved my life. The heat and the cheek. Norman, my precious boy, what's happened to you? Trevor, the camping stool. Oh my, I think I'd better call Fireman Sam. There we are, perfect. Ugh. Solid as a rock. Well done, you two. Oh, and not a moment too soon. There's a forest fire and Trevor, Guinness and the children are trapped. There's a forest fire and Trevor, Guinness and the children are trapped. Got a forest fire. We're going to need you, Tom. On my way. Don't panic. I'm a volunteer firefighter, you know. Oh, Trevor, you are so brave. Shall we use the sticky foam, Sam? No, Elvis. Just water for this one. Get it into position to drop water. Over. Thanks, Tom. Looks like we have the fire under control now. No problem, mate. There. Sarah, over here, quick. Hi, Derek. What's happening? 
I need your help with this old bathtub. But quickly, I'll explain on the way. That doesn't look very safe, Norman. I'm fine, Mandy. Start the stopwatch. I'm going to beat the baked bean can squatting record. That'll show silly old Derek. <laughs> OK. That's the plan. It looks scary. Right. Give me a push. A big push. Oh, hey! Quidditch Book of Records, here I come! Uh, Mandy, how am I doing? Another 20 seconds and the world record is yours. Yes! <laughs> is dangling dangerously from a bridge. Saved by the bell? Norman Price is dangling dangerously from a bridge. Wait right there, my precious. Help is on its way. I can't hang on much longer, Mum. <laughs> You're safe now, Norman. Whoa! <laughs> ah, what the grizzly? Ah. <laughs> ah, I'm fine. No need to. Ah, ah, ah. Moose! Ah. Moose! Are you all right? Yeah, I think so. But I can't seem to move. I'm stuck between a rock and uh, another rock. Hey, don't worry. I, uh, I have my walkie-talkie. Oh, no. I hope my fossils aren't broken. We need to get help. How about Grandad? He could call Uncle Sam. It's OK, Moose. We're getting help. Now, what's this about your fossils? James, Sarah, what a lovely surprise. <laughs> There's been an accident. Moose has fallen down a ravine and is stuck between two big rocks. Oh, dear. Uh, uh, stay calm. N no need to panic. And call Fireman Sam. Oh, I just don't know what's got into Cridlington today. Now he's gone and hidden my helmet. It's almost as if he wants to lose his job. <laughs> Moose Roberts has fallen down a ravine and is stuck between two big rocks. <gasps> I'll call Tom. Come on, Penny. to the gully. Come on, Moots. Let's get you out of here. It's no good. I'm stuck fast. Hang on a minute. It's not you that's stuck. 
It's your rucksack. This should do the trick. Thanks, Sam. Nice job. Finally, my lovely cup of tea. Norman Rice is lost on Ponty Panty Island. Come in, Penny. We have an emergency. Take Neptune to the Ocean Rescue Center. We'll be ready with Saturn. Over. Right you are, Sam. On our way. Let's hope Saturn can see better than us. Anything? Come on, Saturn. I've got something. Saturn's found Norman on the secluded beach. Hold on! you. Supposed to be cleaning Jupiter, not your foot. I know, sir, but I finished cleaning Jupiter. <laughs> Can I join in the smoke room training now, sir? Hmm. Wait a minute. There's some soot on Jupiter's bumper. And her headlights. There will be no smoke room training for you, Criddington, until Jupiter is clean, pristine, and gleaming. Hmm. Don't worry, Jupiter. I'll get you some clean water. Oh, there comes the new dragon. You stay there, Gareth. As I'm the king of dragons, I just want to add some last-minute touches. Once the king of dragons has a fire-breathing dragon, I will be the greatest king ever. Ah, behold, my dragon. Wow! It's amazing! It's great! He's on fire! What? Whoa! Oh. And he's coming towards us! Oh! Oh no! He's rolling towards the station! I think I'd better call Fireman Sam. Fire-breathing 
dragon has set fire to Bessie's shed. Well, that's a new one. A fire-breathing dragon has set fire to Bessie's shed. My Bessie's in that shed. All fires are out, and Bessie is fine, sir. Ooh, thank you, Sam. Lady Puffle Paws. <laughs> Don't panic! I'll get you! <laughs> oh! Don't worry, Lady Puffle Paws. I have my party party pioneer swimming badge. <laughs> That's Lady Pufflepaws. Come back, Lady Pufflepaws. Come back! Oh, and that's my Norman. We'd better call Fireman Sam. <sighs> there. All balanced. Thanks, Elvis. We'll store the pieces here until we can return them. Sorry, one more piece. Lady Pufflepaws and Norman have fallen into the river. Lady Pufflepaws and Norman have fallen into the river. Elvis, bring Saturn. Sausage rolls. Stay calm. We'll find them. I'm launching Saturn now. There he is. Norman, grab on to this. Come in, Elvis. Norman is safe, but I can't see the dog. Saturn's found Lady Pufflepaws. She's heading towards the ocean. We can't reach her in time. We can, if we take a shortcut. <laughs> Get ready, Penny. Come in, Elvis. Lady Pufflepaws is safe, well, and, and very licky. Oh, he was about to say who it was. No one is watching the end of the movie until that cat is back in its basket. Fine, I'll get it. Anything to find out who did it. Getting on my nerves. Norman, are you okay? I'm fine. Now, where's the cat gone now? Wait, Norman, don't scare it. I can't catch the cat. I think we have bigger problems. I'll get my dad. Ah! We're trapped! Rick, do something! I'm calling Fireman Sam! Uh, Sam? 
Mom, I've had a bit of an accident cleaning your uniform. But I did get rid of the smell. <laughs> Thanks, Elvis. But I think I... Ooh. There is a fire at the floods house. Please stay calm. Mandy, Hannah, and Norman are trapped inside. There's a fire at the Flats house. Mandy, Hannah, and Norman are trapped inside. is on fire! Again! Norman, Mandy, Hannah! I need you to keep away from the front door! Ready, Penny? Ready, Sam. Stay back, everyone! <laughs> Take my heart! Keep as low as you can, and I'll guide you through the smoke and out of the house. Walk straight and head towards <laughs> Jupiter's blue flashing lights. Sam! The cat is still in there! OK, Norman, I'll find it. dream that Norman Price threw a flare into the laundry basket and set fire to me house. It wasn't a dream, was it? Norman Price has set off a flare and caused a fire in the Flood's house. Norman Price has set off a flare and caused a fire in the Flood's house. Elvis and Annie, you fight the fire from outside. Penny and I will rescue anyone inside. Right, Tom. Oh, the door's blocked. Stand back. Mandy! Calm down, Norman. It's just me. That sounds like Mandy. You take Norman and Mike out, Penny. I'm going up. And stay back from the door. I'm coming in. Oh. You're safe now, Mandy. Right, Arnold. I think it's time for another test run of the Fire Dog 2000. <laughs> Is it just me or does the fire dog look sort of angry? Nope, not at all. Oh, no, 
not just you. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Well, it looks like the streets of Ponty Pandy are safe, Sam. We might make that whole month without fires after all. You never know, Ellie. We might just do that. <laughs> 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 Like a job for Atomic Boy! Be careful, James! <laughs> oh no! The biometric identification system seems to be targeting its subjects with hostile intent! Uh, what? It sees people and chases them! <laughs> Atomic boy! Be careful, Norman! I don't need to be careful. I'm invisible, which means I can wait a minute. You can see me? We can all see you, Norman. But that means... You can see me? Run, Norman! <laughs> oh, dear. Well, I hope they stay away from my cans of petrol. Call Fireman Sam. Norman Price is being chased by a robotic dog that's on fire. Norman Price is being chased by a robotic dog that's on fire. The Fire, fire dog, dog 2000. 2000! This could be a big fire. Better take Jupiter. Penny, we're going to need you. On my way. Keep a safe distance away. Norman Man is doomed! 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 <laughs> <laughs> you all know Neptune. So that's the tour finished. Where have you been, Cridlington? Oh, sorry, sir. I got to bit them tied up. Oh, dear. Ooh, it's getting a bit breezy. Will Mike be all right out there? I'm sure he'll be fine. Oh! 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 oh what? Wait! Phew! <laughs> gotcha! Oh! Whoa! Oh, no. I've sat on my button. Uh-oh! Oh! Get off! Get off, you rocket! Well, they can't be going off yet, James. They are. That's not just the fireworks. Mike's platform is on fire. I'll call Fireman Sam. <laughs> Mike Flood is trapped out at sea on a blazing platform. <laughs> Mike Flood is trapped out at sea on a blazing platform. Ben, you pilot type. Elvis and Penny, you man the water cannons. I'll take you. I'm 
coming, Mike! I've got you, Mike. Nice job, Ben. I got it! Yes! Hey! Ow! Oh, my foot! Again! So, where the Grizzlies is the cheese? <gasps> and where's my little treasure? Wait! Slow down, cheese! Uh, ah, you're not getting away that easily, cheese! No cheese and no Norman Price. I smell trouble. I thought that was the cheese. Um, excuse me, Station Officer Steele, but, um, Norman sent the cheese rolling off the course and ran off after it. That's treacherous terrain out there. Oh, no. My little treasure is lost in the mountains. Ooh. Don't worry, Dillis. We'll find him. But it's quite a wide area. We'd better call Fireman Sam. I'll go and get the helicopter. <laughs> Norman Price is missing in the mountains. Norman Price is missing in the mountains? This would have been the perfect job for Saturn's heat-seeking sensors. But Saturn's broken, huh? Sam. Hmm. Well, if we can't find him by sight, Elvis, perhaps we can find him by smell. <laughs> you all to myself. Just you and me out here, all alone, on this rocky ledge. Help! If Radar can sniff out the cheese and follow the scent, he'll lead us straight to Norman. Well, I've been holding the cheese all day. My hands really smell of it. Radar, go fetch. It's okay. I found him, Tom. Norman Price is on the west face. Roger that. Lower the double harness. Safe and sound. That little old lady's very grumpy, Sam. I know, Elvis. I know. It's so much f further than I thought it would be. I want to go back to the bus now. Ooh, me too. My hands are like blocks of ice. We can't give up now. Remember, we are in the front row. Mandy, remember your Ponty Pandy pioneer training. Always stick to the road. Follow me, everyone. But we'll be there in no time. Mandy! I'm okay, Mum. I grabbed a tree, but I don't know how much longer I can hang on. <gasps> Hold on. Someone, call Fireman Sam. A blanket with no holes, soup that's just right, and a nice warm office. Well done, team. <laughs> Mandy Fred is dangling from a tree over a ravine. <laughs> Mandy Flood is dangling from a tree over a ravine. Tom, we're going to need you on the Newtown Road. On my way. 
I'll take Mercury, Elvis and Penny, you take Venus. Elvis, grab your soup. I'll bring hand warmers and blankets. She's down there, Sam! Mandy! It's Fireman Sam! I'm coming to get you! <gasps> Please hurry, Sam. Lower the double harness, Tom! Coming right up. Tough to Mandy. I got you. That's hardly amazing. Ah, still no good. Water, Mandy, that's a petrol lawnmower. Ooh, uh, and that's fertiliser. You know what happens when you mix petrol with fertiliser? What? It explodes! Explodes? Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. We'd better call Fame and Sam. Thank you, Nurse Flood. We really did learn lots about bandaging today. Yes, even if most of the practice was on you, sir. Well, after a busy day like that, I just want to go home and relax in my garden. Ooh. Ow. Uh. Uh. <laughs> the, the flood's garden is on fire and oh, it might explode at any moment. My garden's on fire and might explode at any moment. Come on, team. Elvis, you get everyone to safety. Okay, Sam. Penny, we're going to need the sticky foe. Okay, Sam. Come on, everyone. Get back behind Jupiter. You'll be safe there. Turn it on, Penny. It's out, Penny. All safe. Phew. Uh, oh, it's amazing up here. I can see the whole of Ponty Pandy. Oh, 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 oh. What's happening? The bracing's come off. Norman, you did screw all the screws in really tight, didn't you? Yes, of course I... Uh, oh, um, whoopsie. Oh. Oh. We need to balance out the weight. Norman, you're going to have to stay in the middle to keep it balanced. Me? Uh... Derek, you go in the middle. You were first up. No, 
I wasn't. You were first. And you pushed in. Be quiet, you two. No one move, or the whole thing might fall. I really don't like tree houses. What are we going to do? There's only one thing we can do. Help! 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 <laughs> what? What is it, Nipper? Oh, someone's in trouble. Come on. What's happened, Trevor? The bracing's coming apart. We can't move, or the whole tree house will fall. I'll go and call Fireman Sam. <laughs> the Punty Pandy Pioneers are stuck in the tree house. <gasps> We'd better hurry. Thanks for the lesson, Tom. I think it might be about to come in very handy. Fireman Sam! Hurry, Uncle Sam! Ah! Quick, screw in the other end of this pole tightly to the tree. It's in tight, Sam. Well, you're all safe now. Anna. Yes, I'm fine. But look what you did. Why can't you ever do anything normal? Why do you have to be so embarrassing? Oh, I'm sorry, lover. I don't mean to embarrass you in front of your friends. But you do. Is everything all right? Everything's fine. I would just like a regular sausage cooked on a regular barbecue with no silly hats involved. All right, Hannah. Look! The bottle! Move back, everyone! It's spreading! <laughs> Stop! We're moving towards the cliff! We're trapped! This time you really do need to call Fireman Sam! Oh no! My battery's flat! Now what are we going to do? We can use my hat. The solar panels have got a power adapter. There! There's a grass fire at the ruins and people are trapped on the cliff. There's a grass fire at the ruins, and people are trapped on the cliff. Oh, Trevor, I'm getting vertigation again. Oh. What are we going to do? It's Uncle Sam! Penny, you hose down the grass. We'll get the floppy shovels. OK, Sam. Let's get you to safety. Elvis, make sure everyone's okay. We need to get this fire under control. <laughs> 